India has many unique things. It is the largest democracy of the world, a population of 140 billion people, a multi-religious, multicultural, and multilinguistic society, a country which has preaches ahimsa, that is non-violence for the world. I did not come here to represent the case of my son, Umar Khalid, only. I came here to represent the case of all the political prisoners, those who are languishing in jail. I don't know, speaking here, what will happen, how far it will affect the case in India, but I think the people must know what is prevailing in the country. <coughs> India is the largest democracy of the world. But we are afraid that whether it will remain as a democracy or not after 2024 election. If this government comes back, people feel that the, 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 the democracy of the country will be lost. You know, nowadays in India, decent has become a crime. Many friends of Umar Khalid, those who are languishing in jail, what was their fault? They have spoken against a discriminatory law, that is CAA, citizenship law. They were the face of this anti-CA movement of the country. And they have been charged with uh, sedition, they have been charged with terrors, terrorism, and they are languishing in jail since last three years under UAPA, Unlawful uh, Activities Prevention Act. This is the terrorist act. What was the fault? If you go through the entire charge sheet of Umar Khalid, you will see that uh, there are three charge sheets so far submitted. The first charge sheet has 17,000 pages, then second charge sheet and third charge sheet. There are all fabricated things in the charge sheet. They have cited, as, as uh, Taklis of saying that his, he made a speech, that that, that his speech is the main uh, charge against Umar Khalid, which says that he instigate that his speech has instigated a communal right in Delhi. And they have given one simple sentence that Umar Khalid says that when Mr. Trump will visit India, we will bring before him what is going on in the country. That means they have given the indication that they will instigate a right in Delhi. My lawyer asked the police, have you covered that speech? They said, no. We got it from a Republic TV, a TV channel. We got it from there. Then they asked the Republic TV, from where you got this sentence? Have you covered this speech? They said, no. We have got it from Amit Malviya's tweet. Amit Malviya is a uh, IT in charge of BJP. Then my, law my lawyer has shown the entire video of 20 minutes and asked him what is wrong in it. Just now Mr. Takli was giving the details of that speech. Actually, and, 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 and you know that in spite of all this, that the all fabricated charges are there. But when we apply for bail in lower case, it has taken one and a half year for the argument. Because in UAPA, we have to prove that we are not guilty even in bail. For bail, we have to prove that we are not guilty. It is not otherwise. The police has to prove. It is not otherwise. So after one and a half year, the, the, the one line's judgment was, prima facie, there is a case. Then we have moved to high court. For after nine months, again, they say the same thing. And you know, since last five, six months, we are in Apex Court of India. So far, six adjournment has taken place. So what I'm saying is that uh, now process has become a punishment. If you, if you keep a person, if you say the prima facie case is there, and you know in Unlawful Activities Act, you can keep a person since for five years, ten years, and after that you will say that no, he, 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 he will be acquitted. So a person will lose 
his ten precious, precious year. And you know, Umar Khalid, from the beginning itself, when he was a student of uh, Jawaharlal Nehru uh, University, which is a prestigious university in India, from there he was actively involved in the issues of all the persecuted people, whether it is Dalit, tribals, and his PhD thesis, the uh, title of the PhD thesis was on the tribals of uh, Jharkhand. And he was a person and his, his organization, uh, during JNU uh, uh, times, they have cited the plight of Kashmiri people, what is happening to the Kashmir, with the title that a country without post office. Again, he has been charged, uh, and he has been charged sedition that uh, he, he was raising this type of issues. What I am saying is that uh, the situation in the country is becoming very miserable for the people, those who talk to the government, those who speak to the government, those who protest against the discriminatory policies and laws of the government, whether they are journalists or they are activists, even the politicians. So this is the situation prevailing in the country and we hope now all the other political parties, they are coming on one platform because they also feel that if they did not win this election, then then what will be their plight, they don't know. So this time, all the political parties came on one platform and they form an India alliance. And they, we hope that the vote will not be divided, the, the good sense will prevail, and finally they will be defeated.